Welcome back to Yawk Outdoors. In last video, I did a salamander lure modeling and a soft plastic injection mold design for that lure. In that design, I did not do the external gills, but instead I used the silicone skirt for that. I took it to the test, it worked. I think it should work even without the silicone skirt, but I'm wondering if a more realistic external gill design will work better like those in the pictures. So in this video, I will show you how to add additional features on the existing design and also what to pay attention to in this process. First, we need to define a plan where we can put the new features on. And there are many ways to construct a plan here I want to have a plan near the neck area at a specific angle. So I use plan at angle to construct the plan. First we need to draw a line so we can rotate our plan around that line. In the construct drop down menu, I select plan at angle. And then I select the line and enter the angle. Click OK. And here is what it looks like. And remember, we are going to use this plan to cut the mold. So, and because we have left and right mold on top, so we need to duplicate or mirror this plan to the other side so we can use those plans to cut the molds. Now let's create the outlines on the plane we just created. Here I'm using the spline tool. I'm using this axolotl picture as a reference. Now we have the outlines. I'm going to use the pipe form to create the external gills from those outlines. Here I'm changing the segment radius on one end so those gills will have the tapered shape. To modify the section radius, first you need to select the sections tab. Then you will be able to see the sections as yellow circles. Click on a yellow circle, it will show you two arrows. One is along the pipe direction and the other is perpendicular to that direction. You want to modify the one that's perpendicular to the pipe center line. I went back and changed the radius even smaller, so those gills will look even pointier. Next is mirror those gills to the other side, so we have three pairs. Alright, our salamander model now has external gills. Let's go! Wait, not yet. We still need to modify the mold. In the last video, I designed this mold as a three-piece mold. I have top left and right, and one bottom piece under the belly. To modify the mold, first, Let's subtract the new features out from the existing mold. Here I use the combine feature and the cut operation. Remember to click the keep tools option. As you can imagine, it will be almost impossible to pull out the external gills when we demold. We have to split the mold at those plants where we added the gills. Fortunately, it's just a few clicks to achieve that in Fusion 360.
We can then cut down the number of molds by combining the new pieces. Now it's a four piece mold. And as you can see, half of the new features are on one side of the split and the other half is on the other side. I'm anticipating some flashing at this joint, but I think it, it might be good because I can turn those into the featherish structure around the external gills. Next, I went back to the timeline and removed those registration structures, and there it is. Here I'm adding the venting for the new features. I'm using the pipe form because I can connect those lines and set the same attributes at the same time. I cannot really do that with just the pipe. Finally, let's put all the mold pieces together and do a final inspection. I did not add the tolerance between the jointing surfaces because I have to do a post cleanup anyways. If they don't fit perfectly, I will sand it and do some adjustments. And at this point, you can start to see the external gills coming out from the main body and the hook slot, ribs. Now the wavy tail fins. Yeah, I think this is okay. It should work. So there you have it. Four piece mold, four salamander with external gills. Because I didn't change the bottom piece, theoretically, I don't need to remake that part. So actually, this can be a multi-purpose mold. I can set it up for making a salamander with or without the external gills. Hope you find this video helpful. If you want to see what the actual lure looks like, please hit that like button or leave your comments. I will go extra mile and make that video. By the way, our channel is going to hit the 500 subscriber mark soon. Thank you for all of your support. Please subscribe if you have not, and we will see you next time. Peace!